What is going on guys? I am Jehovah. Welcome to some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay. This actually isn't my gameplay. I borrowed this from KWR Speedy. So he was also at the event I was. We were playing together. It was a lot of fun and he had some gameplay uh, that I, I didn't really play with the shotgun much. Actually, I think I did like one game but I didn't record it or whatever, whatever. But uh, So you see some shotgun gameplay and just some different, uh, different play styles from him. So enjoy that gameplay. And uh, if you don't know who Speedy is, check him out. Um, all right, so let's get into this Q&A. So I asked you guys to ask me questions about Advanced Warfare, considering I've played it. One of the biggest things I hate is whenever people immediately form opinions, strong opinions, based on trailer gameplay. Uh, it's just not much to form an opinion on. I've played the game. I'm still trying to keep myself very open-minded to the game and whether or not uh, I'm really, really going to enjoy it or not. So, uh, And with that being said, let's also remember that it's not Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts pissed us all off. We all fucking hate that game. But this is not Call of Duty Ghosts, so let's give it a fresh chance. I think it's really fun. I had a ton of fun playing it, and I'm really looking forward to it later this year in November when it comes out. Anyways, first question from Suda. Is the spike drone similar to the throwing knife or ballistic knife, and can you hit it across the map? So, I played with the thing a little bit. Unfortunately, I never got a kill with it because I'm bad. But, uh, yes, it's actually a grenade type or whatever. It's a little spiky ball. You launch it out of your little wrist launcher cool thing, cyborg thingy, and uh, from what I could tell, you can't get very much range on it. I was trying to get some uh, off the start of the match. There's this one map where you're like pretty much straight across from each other, and I was trying to launch it over that and get a kill. I never connected with anybody. So across the map, I don't know if it'll have that much range. It didn't seem to have that much whenever I was playing around with it, uh, but you know, this is very early gameplay, three months out, so... Who knows what it'll be by the time it fully launches, but it looks cool. And you can also like double tap. I think you can double tap the uh, the equipment button uh, after you have launched it. And as long as there's a clean line of sight in between you and the spike ball thing, it'll actually fly back to you. And Joel said he got a kill with the thing when he was just returning it to his arm. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, I didn't get any kills with it. Anyways, next question. Jonathan Matthews says, will it be good for competitive? In my opinion, yes, I think it can be very good for competitive. Uh, my first point being that if Ghost could do it, Ghost seemed to work really well for competitive some way, somehow. So if Ghost could do it, I don't know why this game wouldn't work. Uh, I think it would be really nice. And the uplink game, play, uh, game type, I think would be really, really cool for competitive. Uh, it's basically Call of Duty Quidditch. And uh, yeah, I think that would be really fun to watch in a competitive aspect. Um, also with Hardpoint and CTF coming back, that's definitely going to be good for competitive. So Let's see here. Uh, how did you find the invisibility aspect to the game? Is it OP? That's my biggest worry, says Ashley Payne. So I'm guessing you're talking about the EXO ability, um, the one with invis or cloak or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think I saw one person use it the entire time I played. So I can't really say much on that, but I would assume that uh, you know that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think even whenever it is, they, they don't last for too long. You know, I think it, it's pretty quick. It's only, what, five to ten seconds, something like that. I'm not completely sure, but I, I'm not too worried about it myself. So, next question. Desert Amp wants to know, how are the graphics? The graphics are really nice. That was one of the first things I noticed, obviously, is that everything's very shiny and pretty. They wouldn't let us capture it anything over 30 frames per second, so... Um, some of the footage, I mean, the footage still looks great, but it's not at full quality, I guess you would say. But uh, I think it looks very, very good. It, it looks uh, on par with other next-gen titles, so uh, it looks really good. I like it. Uh, Greg wants to know, will you and the crew be playing it this year? Is it fun? So, yes, that's one of the biggest things I'm excited about is that, you know, like I said, we never really got into Ghosts. And it was really, like, just not playing Call of Duty with my friends that I've always played Call of Duty with was kind of weird over the past year. And I'm really, really looking forward to that in Advanced Warfare. I, I think that we're really going to like it, and we're definitely going to try to play it a lot more than we did Ghost for sure. And hopefully it'll be just like the old days, and we'll play the shit out of it like we did all the other Call of Duties. So, uh, And is it fun? Yes, I had a ton of fun. The multiplayer event that I went to was really fun. I didn't want to put the game down. I didn't want to leave. And it it's kind of sucks now. I have to like wait three months to play it again. Um, because, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, Brosif wants to know... Are the maps good, and what do you and what about the kill time? Uh, I think the maps that we played are good. I think we only played three maps, three, four maps. Uh, I'm not sure, but the maps that we played, I thought were very good. 
Um, but we'll see, you know, what else comes out. And the kill time seems pretty fast, but not as fast as like ghosts. Um, yeah, it's 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 good. I feel like it's it's good. Jacob wants to know: Is swimming a decent factor in multiplayer? I don't think so. I fell into the mat, uh, into the water like one time and accidentally swam for a couple seconds, and I was like, "Oh, cool, you can swim now." And I came right out. But as far as I could tell, it didn't look like it would be like advantageous in any situation. But who knows? That was just one map, and there could be lots of other water on other maps. So we'll see. Let's see, Dale Knight. What are the most interesting looking kill streaks in your opinion? Um, you know, I don't know. The one that shoots the the spiraling rockets down at the ground looks pretty sweet, and I unfortunately didn't get to get my hands on very many of them. I got a couple care packages and UAVs, and that's all I really uh, got at the event because I was still new and scared. And uh, but yeah, the kill streaks that are there do look cool. The, mo the most exciting thing about kill streaks probably wouldn't just be one kill streak for me. It's the fact that you can like customize those kill streaks. Um, and, and make them unique and different. So uh, I think that's a really cool aspect that they've added to the game. Sorry guys, this Q&A ended up going way longer than what I expected it to, so I actually split it up into two parts, but don't worry, you'll see the second part posted soon. Stay tuned, I love you guys. Please leave a like on the video for Advanced Warfare Early Gameplay. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Also, click the annotation on the screen right now to check out even more Advanced Warfare Gameplay right here on my channel.